Look at that it's time to start making dinner. What do you feel like eating tonight? I would like some pasta as part of the dinner. I don't know what else I would like. Oh, I know. I'll make breaded chicken, fettuccine with alfredo sauce and a side of vegetables. That sounds delicious, Dallas. Okay, let's get started. Why don't you have a seat and keep me company while I cook? Oh, I should turn on the stove top and the oven to preheat. Do you remember where I put the pasta? I think you put it above the stove. Thanks. Ouch! My hand. Are you okay? No. I burnt my hand. How did you do that? Why would you put your hand on the element? It's not like I meant to. <laughs> we should probably turn this off. I should have known better. Especially since we have been talking about energy transfer in science class. I'll have to share this with my students tomorrow. What's energy transfer? I did not see any energy. Other than you running to the sink. On the contrary. Energy transfer is when energy is transferred from a substance with greater energy to a substance with lower energy. I still don't get it. There was no electricity to zap or anything. All you did was put your hand on the element. Exactly. I placed my warm hand on the hot element. So in my case, there was heat energy, being transferred from the hot element with a higher temperature and greater kinetic energy to my hand with a lower temperature and lower kinetic energy. So. What is that called? Specifically it is called conduction. It's what we refer to as a transfer of heat that occurs between two solid objects, the stove element and my hand, by direct contact. Now, typically you would rather have the stove element transfer heat to the pot than your own hand. How's your hand? Should we go to the medical clinic? Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. My hand is starting to blister already and it hurts really badly. The water is not doing anything for the pain anymore. Who knows, maybe I'll be able to get a tetanus booster shot too. I think you should just hold a damp cloth to your hand. I'll drive. Just wait until we get back and start cooking dinner again. I'll teach you all about convection and radiation as methods of heat transfer, while we cook the pasta. <laughs> On second thought. Maybe we can just get some takeout. I can't believe that I burnt my hand. Ah oh well. At least my students will have a laugh. And maybe learn something in the process. You know that's what I love most about teaching. Being able to share my personal life stories with my students. It lightens the mood and gives students a break from that thinking. You know, that's what some of my favorite teachers did too. I never paid attention to the ones that just read straight from the textbook, or made us copy page after page of notes. Me too. I believe that's why I use humor a lot and am not afraid to share my personal stories with my students. There's some minor editing of course. It captures their attention, not to mention it makes class more lively and provides me an opportunity to create a comfortable atmosphere for learning to take place. An added bonus, it helps me connect to the students and build a sense of community in class. Once I start sharing my stories, they can't help but want to share theirs. Cool. Should we get going now? If we don't leave soon, you might be telling your students the story of how you lost your hand. You're right. Let's go. Whether it was about conduction and heat energy, or how to avoid putting your hand on an element, I hope you have learned something today. And yes, this story was based my own personal experience. While trying to reach the poster I put my hand down on a leader element and wound up with second degree burns and a tetanus shot. <laughs>